I love this idea. It's so cute. The old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but actually your own trash could be the new centerpiece of your home or garden. With a little creativity and a mind for recycling, you can get started on some fun crafts that any kid would love. That's right. Kelsey Kalambula provides easy, fun crafts for kids in each month's issue of Metro Parent Magazine. And we're going to show you how to make a couple of them from trash to treasure to make sure you can recycle on this Earth Day, right? That's right. That's right. Great, Great, to, see great you. to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Me. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do you have going? What's our project today? Kind of so today we got? we've got some tuna cans. Okay. Now the essential thing with the tuna can is that you need to make sure that you cut it out or that you use a can opener that doesn't have a sharp edge. Okay. You know, good for humans and the birds, right? Got right? it. Oh, and good point. Yeah. Okay. So then you're just going to, and this would be a part that the adult would do, or if the child is a bit older, they could give that a try. You're just going to take a nail okay. and you're going to create the three holes, right? This is mm -hmm. the holes where it's going to hang. Okay. So you would just take a hole and you would take your hammer and you give it a good. Oh, so it's on the inside. Turn on it to the, the side a little so we can see yeah. how you're doing that. So we're just going to so place it on oh, the inside. Okay. okay. That's why it's a little tricky, but you always want to have your kids try it out. Yeah. You, know, you want to get a hammer in their hands with supervision. Yes. And you want to <laughs> and introduce when there's, them there's to those are not around. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> them how to hit their thumb. There you go. Right. Okay. Once you've created those holes, the next thing is that you can paint. And we have Acrylic oh, paint. You want a permanent kind of paint. Okay, acrylic. And I've added okay. the first coat. It works best oh, if you I have that. two yeah, coats. Oh, I see that. Yeah, Tiss is already pink. Yeah. Her tuna can is pink, and mine is kind of like a cool navy purplish blue. That's right. See? And I've got some other paints here so that you can now start adding those details. Okay. okay. And when you're working with your kids, you can just let them have at it, or you can start talking about lines. You can talk Ooh, about I patterns, like this pink circles, color. Okay. and just really have fun with that and start adding some of those okay. details. And this is something that you may not get done in one sitting. So this right. might be where you work with them and then you come back to it another time. Oh, okay. I like that. And they can do kind of whatever they want. I see now why you had the nail on the inside. It's so that the jagged edge is on the outside where the birds are not um, sure. eating the food. And if you try to bash it here, it'll all collapse in. So, okay. yeah. Gotcha. So it works well. So you can start, and you can do simple patterns. Um, you can do more elaborate designs, like swirls, like you're working on. So really, it's up to the imagination of the child. Oh, and I what like we that. really encourage, though, is that the parent engage with the child and do it side by side. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. that's cute. So seeing doing little polka dots here. Yeah, snazzy. Mine's a you cat. Like that? Oh, yours is a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> that is cute. Okay, so like um, kids can do birds little... like cats, right? Oh, yeah, that's cute. Out. I love that. Okay. Great. All the birds are going to want to feed on this tuna can. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, once you've painted and added your design, whatever that okay. may be, you let it dry, mm -hmm. and then you can start adding string. And I cut about 20, three 20 inch pieces of string, but really it's up to you how long it's that may be. It's not string though, it's like stretchy. It is. And it's made out, this string is made out of t shirts, actually. Get out! Oh, yeah. that's so, so this, you I buy it like that a t shirt. Or you made it. Look, you, no, you, you made we it. all have so many t shirts oh, that end up in the laundry room that's as rags, right. but that's so cool. So you just take a little swatch piece, you and take you a just whole t shirt, and okay. then you cut it, and you, there's all kinds of YouTube videos on how to do that but you can cut it and then you have your own ball of string out of the oh, t-shirt so that another way to so repurpose cool. reuse recycle very those cool. three yards in okay that's fantastic so and I noticed them up. on the the, uh, the cans that you made over there with the, the the string and sometimes you use ribbon sometimes t-shirt string yeah my um, kids got in there and helped me out then you also <laughs> put beads on it sure and you can that's again cute. talk to your kids about patterning or symmetry you can add some of those other things into it as you're working with them and it's important you work side by side because they can see you value this experience and they can see you make some mistakes and how you're going to solve that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. Because yeah, the design doesn't need to be perfect. Some of these are just sort of abstract and fun. And yeah, and they're having a great time. It's really the process, that yeah. time that you're enjoying together. How about these egg cartons? What? what? These are cute. Yeah, those were in last month's um, Kelsey's Craft Corner in Metro mm -hmm. Parent Magazine. And those were made out of, obviously, egg cartons. And we put our own spin on them to make a flower box. You know, there were cute. no flowers to be seen yeah, in Wisconsin. Right. So uh -huh. you got to make your own. Cute. What are I these like guys? That. And we've got some drums made out of oatmeal containers. And those were featured easy also earlier. So if you go on Metro Parents website, they have those crafts posted along with others. That's so cool. Okay. And you use for the uh, drumsticks, you just use what look like pencils yeah. and then put kind of a, a fuzzy top on it. That's right. We really don't want too loud, right? That's right. Nice. Good point. So, uh -huh. Good point. <laughs> I like the way you think. There we go. Now, if people go to MetroParentMagazine.com, each month you feature kind of fun upcycled crafts, we right? We do. We pick an object this time tuna cans or next month will be tuna cans and then we transform it into something new 
and exciting and something you can usually we want something you can use or play with later yeah mm -hmm. something functional I just love this idea I it's like such that. a perfect time of year for it and everybody can get a tuna can yeah pretty easy yeah or Everyone you can has even it use home. chicken yep like any kind oh, of sure. chicken comes in the or same sardines. size right or you have a cat you know <laughs> or cat food yeah, yeah there you go, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Kelsey you are just full of the ideas I like that Lots this is fun. really fun yeah I, I think it. kids really love this um so this is next month or this is this this month? is next month but I think they've already posted the project tutorial online so you can go online and learn all the all the details will be there and we also post we always post a um a section that really tries to give you ideas on how to work with your child, how mm -hmm. to further the experience to make it more um, meaningful. And like you said, the patterning right. or symmetry or right, right. cutting even for fine motor. Exactly. Yeah. Those are the exact same things. And um, yeah, because we really want it to be about the experience that you're mm -hmm. having with your child. And they're growing and learning, and you are too. So that's what really what it's about. It's and not all recycling. about this. It's about, you know about cool that crafts yeah. Yeah. I love it thank yeah. you so Seen much ideas. great to see you and people can look for your crafts your fun things every month in Metro Parent magazine they're easy fun crafts for kids in each month's issue so be sure to go to metroparentmagazine.com and it's called Kelsey's Craft Corner great to see you thank, thank you, you so much, so much.